हेलो एवरीवन यू आर आर वेलकम टू लेक्चर नंबर 1055 एंड टुडे टॉपिक इज द टॉक्सिसिटी ऑफ द कॉस्मेटिक एंड दैट इज योर केमिस्ट्री ऑफ टॉक्सिसिटी ऑफ कॉस्मेटिक्स एंड व्हेन वी आर टॉकिंग ऑफ टॉक्सिसिटी मींस it is harmful to our health and nowadays lot of synthetic uh, products are there chemicals are there which are widely used in the manufacture of different type of uh, skin care products cosmetics we also call it makeup so all these uh, all together are there and today we have 12000 uh different type of chemical uh, derivatives and one chemical which is widely used that is uh, pfa and it is like this uh, pfa it is your bisphenyl polyphenyl it is your bis polyphenyl a and it is commonly known as pfa this compound is widely used in different type of cosmetics and up to 12000 derivatives are there of this pfa and this pfa is powerful antibacterial as well as it is uh, preservative that's why it is widely used in cosmetic uh, industry and the second one that is called your hcso this is your formaldehyde and this formaldehyde is also widely used Uh, in cosmetics as a preservative as an antibacterial uh, agent and you might have noticed that once uh, you have experience as a biology student working in the lab where they put some of the specimen of the animals like earthworm or some uh, starfish some sea uh, uh, aquatic animals they are all under this uh, formaldehyde and even in mortuary Uh, for embalming they are using formalin that is uh, formaldehyde and the other compound which is widely used is also aldehyde that is cs the cho this is called acetaldehyde acetaldehyde and this is also another uh, very good uh, preservative and acetaldehyde is also having very good fragrance is uh, found in uh, different fruits their good smell is because of acetaldehyde your banana for example is having very good uh, sweet smell that is because of the presence of acetaldehyde so these are all chemicals involved uh, today but here let me give you the history of uh, cosmetic how it started actually it is having some 7000 year old history Egyptians, uh, Japanese, uh, Chinese, they were using first uh, some minerals like uh, lead carbonate, uh, lead hydroxide, zinc oxide in the form of white color pigment, and also some of the colors were extracted from plant sources. like safflower japanese they were widely using safflower extract and then henna uh, is used for to dye the hair and at the same time in some ceremonial function they used to dye their fingers they apply on the skin so all these were used and the very interesting history goes like that that why it became very very popular from 1600 
onward. The ladies, they were very much uh, uh, after their pale color. I mean, to have such type of outlook where they should look a little bit pale. The reason is that uh, at that time, most of the women, they were working class, they were working field, some were uh, even uh, slaves. So pale color means you are always indoor. You are not exposed to sun. And that was the sign of symbol of prosperity and richness. So only rich ladies, they used to have that type of color. So that color, that pale, uh, light yellow color was very much uh, in demand in the cosmetic industry. So have such type of looks so that they have expensive look, aristocratic look for that reason. And nowadays, lot of solvents are used. The one is, that is toline. Toline is your, this compound where one CH3 is there, then C2H5OH, it is called alcohol that is commonly known as ethyl alcohol and this alcohol c 2 5 is widely used as a solvent, organic solvent and also in perfume they are using and they are calling it uh, perfumery alcohol and this is your toline and there are some uh, mineral powders like uh, magnesium silicate that is your uh, tile powder, zinc oxide, lead carbonate, lead hydroxide, and benzophenone. So, these uh, organic compounds and minerals, they are widely used and they are toxic. They have carcinogenic property and also they are responsible of damaging your hormones, especially the sex hormones, so that your reproductive system is uh, disturbed. And also, uh, sometimes they are responsible of damaging your liver. And today, uh, this cosmetic industry is having a strong lobby globally, even in America and Europe. Uh, they cannot stop such type of toxic chemicals because they lobby. And today's industry, when I'm talking of 2023, is more than 100 billion US dollar. And by 2028, maybe after five, six years, it is going to cross 400 billion US dollar cosmetic industry, skincare products. And the India share is third because second number is Japan. At present, India is, uh, is spending up to 27 billion US dollar and by 2028 it is going to cross up to uh, 38 to 40 billion US dollar and the growth the cosmetic industry growth is very high is more than 16 percent so people are very much using uh, all these cosmetics skincare product and uh, dyes synthetic dyes and these are all very much harmful and if I say toxic, means it is a slow poison. Once you are using for many years, slowly it will, what it will do, uh, it will, uh, you can say, damage your health slowly, maybe in two years, five years, ten years time. And finally, it will be full blown disease. That's, that's called toxicity. And poison means when it's spontaneous, killing is there. So, I am going to give some of the names which should be uh, banned and some of the names, how they are linked to different diseases uh, will be uh, discussed. So, here these chemicals what I have given, benzophenone and that is benzophenone is also one of the uh, toxin and then the pigments what we are using uh, that is your Ng3 SiO4 O10 uh, OS twice that is uh, magnesium silicate 
uh, uh, hydroxide and that is also called very commonly talcum powder or talc powder. So this is actually magnesium silicate uh, OS twice and the other one is that is white pigment widely used in different type of products either in lipstick or in some other skin care product that is your for to making it white in color even this uh, lead carbonate and uh, lead hydroxide combined together it gives very good white color even in two, now there's a two space also they have they are using to make it more white then zinc oxide uh, is widely used and it they are all minerals and then when very very uh, commonly used uh, chemical is called paraben actually paraben is nothing but it is uh, uh, para hydroxy uh, benzoic ester so this para hydroxy benzoic ester paraben is also having some carcinogenic uh, problem and there are lot of hydrocarbons poly uh, cyclic aromatic hydrocarbons then hydrocarbon chains Petroleum jellies, nothing but hydrocarbon chains, they are all having toxin. They are toxic benzene, different derivative of benzenes. They are all having toxicity. So I'm going to give all those uh, names. So here I have given most of them either they are organic chemicals or mineral in the form of powder and heavy metal minerals. So my advice is you please check all these chemicals while you are buying any uh, makeup or cosmetic or skin care product before use so that you can understand and best way is that shift to uh, natural ones rather than synthetic one so here the first one is that is the chemicals used in cosmetics should be banned it should be banned and in, in some of the countries all these chemicals are banned like in uh, that is european union they have banned pfa they have banned formaldehyde and at least i know they have banned up to uh, 80 chemicals so number one is formaldehyde, estaldehyde, parma formaldehyde, all, all these aldehyde containing uh, chemicals should be banned. Then methylene glycol, mercury is a very very toxic uh, compound, I mean the uh, element that is a metallic form. Then dibutyl and dithyl hexyl, thylate that is commonly called thylate should be banned isobutyl and isopropyl uh, parabens commonly called as paraben it should be banned then pfas there are data pfas that is, i have given all those structures in the beginning uh, that is bis polyphenol and this polyphenol that is pfa is causing lot of uh, problem and that is it can lead to liver problem cancer and reproductive problem and uh, then meta and ortho mo phenyl in amine that is uh, at meta and ortho position uh, that is uh, phenyl uh, in diamine then number nine is lead carbonate zinc oxide lead carbonate means with that there is lead hydroxide also and uh, that one gives very good shining yellow, I mean the white color. Zinc oxide is also having white color. Then magnesium silicates, heavy metals have toxic effect. All these heavy metals, they have toxic effect. Then B group, this group of chemicals, you have to be careful. Because they are widely used and they also show uh, toxicity and somewhere they are affect our hormone secretion and also they are carcinogenic means cancer producing one is that is sulfates all the sulfates whatever it is used barium sulfate calcium sulfate 
they are all the product they are salt product of sulfuric acid so they are uh, irritating to skin and to our eye and number two that is paraben and i have already told you about paraben uh, is used as preservative to keep your skin fresh and germ free and recent research indicates uh, that they can cause over production of hormones uh, especially the uh, female sex hormone progesterone and it may disturb the uh, reproductive system and then uh, it can cause uh, cancer also it has that problem and also brain uh, function uh, number three sun screen chemicals there are some chemicals which are used to protect your uh, skin from sun that is called sun screen chemicals they are paba benzophenone oxy benzone these chemicals are used to absorb sunlight and they are uh, endocrine uh, disturbers means they disturb our endocrine gland secretion these sunscreen chemicals number four polyethylene glycol PEG is used as a uh, thickening agent uh, in skin care products like uh, body lotions sunscreen and shampoos then number five uh, that is your uh, formaldehyde is used as thickening agent and preservative it is car carcinogenic So here all these chemicals in continuation for which you have to be careful because they have risk factor. Uh, number six is diethanol amine. So this diethanol amine it is widely used as foaming agent to clean in shampoo in some other skincare product and we love to see foaming during cleaning of our body. So that and it is Pyrotry toxin, uh, uh, it is uh, having some irritating uh, problem to your respiratory uh, trachea. So that's why it is called, it is uh, respiratory toxin. And number seven, ethyl and methyl alcohol. Uh, they are widely used, very common solvent for uh, your lot of skin care products and also in uh, perfumery mostly it, that is ethyl alcohol is used but sometimes there is contamination of methyl alcohol and they don't care and that is uh, highly toxic so there are common solvents in skin care and perfumery and it is also a uh, toxin then number eight hydroquinone hydroquinone is very important nowadays because it is widely used for medicinal purpose means to treat acne, eczema, uh, some abnormal pigmentation. So it is used in skin care product as a skin lightening agent. It is also used in treating acne, age spots also and pigmentation. And number nine, petroleum. Petroleum gel is very common. Petroleum balm is very common. So from that petroleum, lot of products are coming in the form of jelly, in the form of balm, but it contains uh, some polyaromatic hydrocarbons that is called PHS and it is harmful and carcinogenic. If I say carcinogenic means in the long term if you are using it can uh, cause cancer and cancer means any cell can become 
abnormal and it can start behavior abnormally that is called cancerous growth or cancer disease. So, after seeing all these synthetic chemicals, they are flooded in the market and nobody can stop them. Only we have to uh, be careful ourselves. So, these chemicals I have written, if you check in any of the uh, packet or any bottle, such type of chemicals mentioned, please avoid it and best option is go for natural products that is plant product there are a lot of organic products are available organic products means they are also organic chemical but nowadays organics means it is all uh, natural and from uh, plant sources so with this i will stop thank you very much for watching the lecture